The Duke of Sussex arrived at Westminster Abbey for the King's coronation while Meghan Markle was not in attendance and remained in the US. Prince Harry arrived at his father, King Charles's coronation, as he witnessed his stepmother, Queen Camilla also being crowned at Westminster Abbey today. It is the first time Harry attended a royal event with his family since the publication of his controversial memoir Spare in January. After walking down the aisle of the Abbey Harry proceeded to take his seat a few rows back from the front, seated in the same row as Prince Andrew, Princess Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi, and Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Columnist Dan Wooten questioned the Duke of Sussex's jovial display which he branded an arrogant facade. Loose women panelist Denise Welch also reacted to Harry's appearance at the coronation as he was filmed smiling as he walked down the aisle. It comes after Dan tweeted, as the glorious coronation of King Charles secures the future of the British monarchy, Harry's arrogant facade hid a cruel reality. The isolated prince knows he's lost the most important role of his life, social. Media user, Danilo replied, came in and left smiling. Denise, 64, retweeted the response to her 556,000 followers as she applauded Harry with a series of clapping hand emojis. Other Twitter users were in agreement with the ITV panelist. As Deirdre wrote, Go Harry, Purple Clover commented, Bless him. Heart went out to him, as Jane added, Smiling more than the other royals, Harry was pictured chatting to his Aunt Princess and, and looking jovial as he sat with his cousins for the service. It was a brief visit for Harry as the day also coincided with his son Prince Archie's fourth birthday, with the Duke keen to fly back to the US to be with his family, but the royals' happy stance was questioned by GB News commentator, Dan. In his latest column for the Daily Mail, Dan wrote, the cheeky chappy facade on full display as he sauntered into Westminster Abbey cracking jokes like he owned the place hit a reality crueler than a receding hairline that makes his mockery of his brother's balding in his autobiography spare look even more hypocritical. The fifth in line to the throne has missed out on the role of his life, and deep down he knows that. It was a flying visit as there were no plans for Harry to be involved in the afternoon's events. After making the 5,000-mile trip he dashed back to the US to celebrate his son's fourth birthday.